motherfucking history lesson. You don't know nothing about Lady Liberty standing there in the hub with her torch on high, screaming out to all the nations in the world, send me your poor, your deadbeats, your filthy. <laughs> and all the nations sent them in here. They come swarming in like ants. Your Spanish PRs from the Caribbean there. Your Japs, your Chinamen, your Krauts and your heaves, and your even Spanish. Here we are, here we are, all right, everybody clam up. Mr. Archie Bunker, speaking in reply to the editorial broadcast last Saturday. Good evening, everybody. This is uh, Archie Bunker of uh, 704 Houser Street, veteran of the big war, speaking on behalf of guns for everybody. Now, question. What was the first thing that the communists done when they took over Russia? Answer, gun control. And there's a lot of people in this country who want to do the same thing to us here in a kind of conspiracy, see. You take your big international bankers, uh, they want to, what do you call, uh, masticate the people of this here nation like puppets on a wing. And then when they get that done, they train us over to the communists. Oh, Archie, I'm now, glad I'm so they put you on a stool. You, you look tall as sitting down. <laughs> now I want to talk about another thing that's on everybody's mind today, and that's your stick-ups and your sky jackets which, uh, if that was up to me, I could end the skyjackings tomorrow. You could? All you gotta do is arm all your passengers. <laughs> Roger. Roger the fairy? All right. All right. <laughs> so it's my beat it. You know who they're bringing around here for lunch? Roger, sweetie, pie Roger. All right, Roger. Would you come? Oh, well, come on, Irene, after all, it's a well-known fact. Uh, men are weight more than women. <laughs> the world out there is full of nuts and fruitcakes, and sometimes I think I'm gonna go the same way. Oh. On top of that, the bum behind me had beans for lunch. I mean, if God had meant us to be together, he'd have put us together. But look what he's done. He put you over in Africa, he put the rest of us in all the white countries. <laughs> Well, you must have told him where we were, because somebody came and got us. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. We're having a conversation over it. Pull the plug on that. Well, wait, well, wait a minute. Uh, shouldn't we wait for the doctor, huh? I am a doctor. I am on the staff here. Oh. You are, you, you, you're, a, you're a, a regular doctor? Only at night. By day, I strangle chickens for the colonel. Uh, what? What are you going to use the razor for? For shaving. I shaved this morning. I bet you didn't shave where I'm going to shave you. Oh, jeez. Well, how was I supposed to know that? It's Mr. Jefferson. Merry Christmas. Hey, you want some eggnog? Oh, I hope we are not interrupting anything. Oh, my, no. You're very welcome. <laughs> so you're supposed to be Santa Claus, are you? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you look more like the rabbi to me. <laughs> History lesson. You don't know nothing about Lady Liberty standing there in the hub with her torch on high, screaming out to all the nations in the world. Oh, you're drinking there, Daddy? That's real religious. <laughs> What's the matter with that? Jeez, the Bible's full of wine. Oh, God don't have nothing against taking a drink to celebrate his son's birthday. Archie, there's no proof that Jesus was God's son. That's, that's fairy tales. Ah, uh, come on, you meat-headed atheist, you. <laughs> Gee, they don't give you a holiday for fairy tales? <laughs> All over the world, they celebrate the birth of that baby. And everybody gets time warp and wait. Now, if that ain't proof that he's the son of God, then nothing is. <laughs> God made the world in seven days. Six days, Archie. Seven days. No, eh? on the seventh day, he rested. Well, maybe half a day, he did, but the other half, he went around checking on what he'd done. <laughs> He made us all one true religion, ain't it? Christians. 
She named after his son, Christian. <laughs> or Christ for sure. <laughs> Don't you know nothing about the history of your country, the history of Thanksgiving, about the first turkey? Yeah, they told it in school. Yeah, well, I'll tell you the real story. <laughs> when the Pilgrim Fathers, when they seen the first Thanksgiving coming up on the calendar, you know? <laughs> they said we ought to have something special to eat. So, they sent this guy, Miles Sandwich, out there. To France, <laughs> and he was the guy that brought back the turkey. Now, he first wanted a buffalo, see, but the buffaloes all went west. <laughs> and then he would have went with a horse. But uh, a horse is too fast, he couldn't catch a horse. See. <laughs> and then he would have picked some other bird, but then all the other birds, they could fly. So he looked around him and he seen a turkey standing there. The turkey couldn't run, the turkey couldn't fly. So he said, well, we'll eat this dumbbell. Ha, 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 ha.